You want to get fabric mods for Minecraft 1.21.3 and guess what? We're going to show you exactly how to in this video. First things first, we want to go ahead and get the fabric mod loader. This is what basically allows all of your fabric mods to actually work in Minecraft. In the description down below, there's a link to here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting fabric, which is great if you prefer to go through things at more of your own pace and use text guides for that. Otherwise, everything is covered in this video as well. From this page, go ahead and click on Download Fabric to go to Fabric's official download page. From here, all you've got to do is click on this Download Universal Jar link under Download for Windows. The reason we do that is if we download the Universal Jar and get that installed now, it'll help with installing Minecraft mods, running servers, things like that in the future should you want to do that. Let's go ahead and click on Save here and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file as we just did. It's 100% safe to do that. While Fabric's download though, how to match from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown for XYZ says SGA to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out so start playing minecraft mods with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz says sgh now with fabric download there are some more things we need to download specifically the fabric api this is an api mod that pretty much every fabric mod ends up needing so i would just suggest installing it when you install fabric of course it's linked in the description down below that would take you to our in-depth guide on downloading and installing it, but go ahead and click download here and you go to the official download page on CurseForge. From here click on files and then find the 1.21.3 version here and go ahead and download the file right like so. Again, may need to keep or save it. That'll be a common theme with Minecraft mods. Often you will need to confirm you're downloading them by keeping or saving them. Speaking of Minecraft mods themselves, what about downloading those? Well, there's two popular places to get Minecraft mods. CurseForge and ModRinth. When downloading your mods, make sure that your mods are for the Fabric Mod Loader and for Minecraft version 1.21.3. You can easily filter for that. So we can come over here to the left-hand side, click on Fabric, and then 1.21.3 on CurseForge, and then we know that any of these mods will in fact work. For example, you could come in here and download collective which is needed for a lot of mods for example you know the tree harvester mod requires collective things like that as well as mods like journey map or waystones could be downloaded also there's moderate moderate's linked in the description down below and we can filter for 1.21.3 and fabric mods right like so and it will go ahead and show us mods that are just for fabric and for 1.21.3 what mod are we going to be installing well we're going to be installing a few starting off with waystones and all these mods that we install are in the description down below waystones is really really cool as of these different waystones for easy teleporting around worlds, but you want to know how to download it. So on CurseForge, when downloading a mod like Waystones, go to Files here, and you want to make sure that you're downloading the Fabric version of the mod. This will not work if you don't download the Fabric version. Forge or NeoForge will not work. You've got to get the Fabric version. And as we can see, here it is. Fabric for version 1.21.3. That's another thing. It has to be for 1.21.3 as well. So make sure it's for Fabric and for version 1.21.3. If it is, you're going to go ahead and click the three dots next to it and click Download File, right like so. The download will then begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. We can go ahead and save it here and it will download. We also need BOM. What, it, what is BOM? Where did this even come from? Well, this is a mod that actually Waystone requires. How do we see that? Well, if we check the description here, we can see that this requires a BOM right here. So be on the lookout for that. You can also check Relations up here at the top and see that it has the dependency of BOM. It's another way to see kind of what mods might be needed by another mod. So we'll go ahead and download BOM here. The process is exactly the same. You want to make sure that is the fabric version. And if you're having trouble finding it, like I was there, we can also search for 1.21.3 and then fabric. And it's not here. Why is it not here? Well, this is one of the things that sometimes is a bit annoying about some Minecraft mods. Some mod authors will use uh, a separate download for Fabric, a separate mod entirely, separate page, all that stuff. So we want to make sure that we're clicking here using Fabric in this case. Then we can go to Files, and here it is, Fabric 1.21.3. Click the three dots, click download file, and the download will begin. After a few seconds, you're going to need to keep or save it. You know that drill at this point. There's one more mod we're going to download. That is Entity Texture Features here. Why do we want this mod? Well, Entity Texture Features is just a really cool mod. That adds in some more, basically, features for texture packs, but that's not why we're getting it. We're getting it because it's on Modrinth, and I want to show you what that looks like. So if we go to versions here, we'll be able to see this is, of course, the downloads page for Modrinth. You can actually go ahead and select your platform. That's going to be Fabric and your game version, 1.21.3, and there we go. This is the version we want. Let's go ahead and click 
click on the green download button here and it will begin to download. We can see the platform is Fabric and the game version 1.21.3. So now with all of our mods downloaded, we can go ahead and get these installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and move them to our desktop. So we want to go to the downloads folder and here is everything. It's it's quite a bit. I get that. And we have Bomb, which is required for Waystones. And then we have the Entity Texture Features and we have the Fabric API. The Fabric API is installed just like any other Minecraft mod. So we can go ahead and put that with our Minecraft mods. We want to install the Fabric installer file. So go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK, and that'll open the Fabric installer, unless it doesn't. And if it doesn't, or you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, we need to get Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft mods like Fabric Mods here, and it's linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide on downloading and installing it. Once you get Java 21, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So first get Java, then run the jar fix, and then we'll be able to open up the Fabric installer. Just right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. Then the Fabric installer is going to open up right like so, and we just want to make sure that 1.21.3 is selected, which it is. Make sure create profile is checked, which it is, and click install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed, and you want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21.3 before. That means just open it without mods. We'll open it to the main menu of Minecraft, close out of it, and you're good to go. We can go ahead and click OK here and close out of the Fabric installer and delete it, and now it's time for us to install our Minecraft mods into Fabric. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric loader installation here. If you do, awesome, but go ahead and go to installations up here at the top and make sure modded is checked, because we need to install our mods before we play Minecraft. If mod is not checked, Fabric won't be there, but if you check it and you've got Fabric loader 1.21.3, awesome, continue with the tutorial. However, if you don't have Fabric here, what do you do? Well, click new installation. We're going to name this simplegamehosting.com, because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends with Fabric mods. And then go ahead and click the version drop down box here and select release Fabric Loader 1.21.3. Right here it is. You can actually search in this if you're having trouble finding it. You can search for Fabric and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and set the resolution, and now we can install our mods. To do that, hover over the Fabric installation that's either there by default or that you created, and click the folder icon that appears. Then, in here, you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have a mods folder, no worries. Just go ahead and make one. So we're going to right-click, create a new folder, title it Mods, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open your mods folder. Then drag and drop all of these mods into the mods folder, right like so. Any Fabric mod you want to install goes right here into this mods folder. Then we can go ahead and close out of this and play Minecraft, either using that fabric loader installation that was there by default or the one that you created. Make sure you click play again on this little pop-up menu to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. And now Minecraft's going to open with all of your fabric mods installed. Now from the main menu, there's no way to really see that your mods are installed with Fabric, unfortunately. There's no mods button by default in Fabric, so we will have to jump into single player here. And then once we're in single player, we will be able to see the mods working. The easiest mod to see that's working, though, is Waystones, because if we go ahead and click over here, we'll be able to see all the different Waystone stuff that is in Minecraft and, and added with this mod. Go ahead and place this down. Just go ahead and save it right like so, and now we have a Waystone here. You can select the destination if you have other Waystones, all that stuff, but the mod is installed and working. I did realize uh, it'll be a a little hard to show you entity texture features because well I don't have any resource packs installed and even still it's kind of a little hard to showcase but that mod is installed and working as well so with that you now know how to get fabric mods in minecraft 1.21.3 if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give you a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week we'll see you in the next one and i'm out peace